Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one's on Anakin's Jedi Interceptor from 2012, of course. So on the front of the manual, which had the Lego Star Wars logo, and the white and blue Darth Maul border from the time, and picture of the set in action above Mustafar, and set number 9494, and on the back, and for the online survey, advertisement of the, all of the uh, winter 2012 line that there was, and also all the features of the set and all the minifigs included, and then all the pieces that come with the set, of course, and then last building steps. To the mini First thing we would have first one is a special exclusive version of Anakin Skywalker. Well, episode three version. As you see, the torso print, like printing, all quite good for how it is. And of course, hair piece, which same as from. Most years, mostly Clone Wars and all. But of course, kind of fitting to his appearance in this sequence and and face printing, quite suitable to him in this one. And then next to which is uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, also exclusive variant of him. And well, hair piece which quite similar to his. A minifig that comes in the Clone War sets, but however, still workable for him. And then, not in all any like printing thing on this one, but would have been nice if there was. Well, but even though at this time, 2012 was kind of a mix of of prints on the various things and such, but yeah. And of course, wielding both of which wielding blue lightsabers suiting to this sequence. And then, next to it is R2D2. Of which same that came in a lot of sets in like 2009 present for that. And next to which is exclusive variant of Newt Gunray. Like how the headdress, quite the same that came in the, with came with his versions in a couple of Clone Wars sets of course. But however, nice to see it here in dark red for that. And of course the face printing quite similar to his Clone Wars. Of many think looks, but however, still look quite good to how it is. And then, as for the torso printing, and looks quite good and matches up well with the with the uh, dress robe piece that's comprised of mainly a large slope. Since it was before, there was the newer style ones where you can just slip them on like traditional uh, leg pieces, but this just on a pair of studs, of course. And then last to it is a security battle droid, which, which of course comes in a lot of sets, or comes in quite a few sets. It's but still kind of good for army building on the droids side, of course. And then on to the back side of each fig, all of which do have some a quite good back torso printing, but Obi Wan and Anakin do have double sided faces. And of course, Anakin with the more yellowed eyes, of which since he has the Sith energy going on with him. And aside from that, so that's about it with this minifig selection. Now, first off, for one part of the builds are these two mini side builds. Let's see here, which. Which I'll look at one at a time. Is this little mining droid that is on Mustafar? And in it for, whereas these two builds of which, which you probably know for, which are kind of similar to the ones that we got in the Dula Mustafar Mustafar set in 2020, but 
However, this switch in two separate levels, not on a base part for that kind of interesting. <coughs> so, like, of course, a wood standing on a rounded plate with some uh, trans orange studs around representing lava and a couple flames around it and uh, clear cylinder pieces to make it look like it's hovering and however the body part of which with those t-bar pieces there and of course upwards and there's a clear stud in to make sure the two don't uh, hit each other there and then have a couple of valve droid arms that holds the head part above it and also has clear pink studs for eyes, obviously, and a, a rounded plate on top of which, which is so you can stand either Anakin or Obi-Wan onto there, or, uh, obviously. And then onto these other side fill, uh, which also quite simple and basic as the other was. <coughs> Underneath the witches, all kind of the same as the droid one of which, and the rest of which just regular four by six plates with hinge kind of plates sandwiched in between, and also a couple of uh, clip parts on a couple sides to represent uh, hovering flaps to it, and then one and also a pole with a little uh, clear uh, cheese slope to represent a light on it. And of course, enough space to fit your Anakin mini big on too. And then finally, have a little display piece of the Battle of Mustafar. And even though you can also do that with the uh, Bal with the uh, Ultimate Lightsaber Duel set from 2005 and Duel on Mustafar from 2020, since this is kind of a smaller representation of that. But yeah, and that's about it with that. And now onto the uh, Jedi Interceptor, of course. Of course, we did receive quite a few of the things over the, over the years for that, but this is the only time we got to see this in this dark green color, even though since it was for a little bit in this movie, Episode 3, of course. And of course, also a little similar to Yoda's Jedi Starfires, well, the two versions from 2017 and 2023 for that. And so now, as for this, for the front parts of which, which have kind of a bit inwards with these plates with a couple stickers on them and a couple of uh, uh, hinge rods with technic bits representing blasters as well. And then the signs of which have couple lightsaber hilts acting as additional blasters then. There's sort of like the other versions kind of have. And then upwards do you have a couple of uh, jagged slopes on both sides. And to act, just to make it more smooth, slick and smooth play for that, obviously. Then on one side of which have a big large hollow space on there. But with a jumper plate in there. Oh, okay. And that's so you can like slide your R2D2 minifig into there, obviously. But underneath the which you can kind of see a bit of the legs on there, even though in the uh, one of the later two versions in either 2014 or 16 or and 2020, I think they did improve that. Uh, could be wrong, but if they have, then they probably well did, but yeah. But then, other side, which, which is just a pair of uh, flick fire missiles, which was the common use of projectiles at the time, well, until the following year, of course. And you can flick them out like so. And also, it would have been nice if they were on both sides or underneath that part of which, but. At least they did kind of fix that with the spring of the launchers in the 2014 version. And then as for the canopy cockpit area, which as you can see it has this big large uh, canopy dome piece with immaculate printing to it, which did carry on to most other versions of it. 
along and of course has the Republic symbol on there. It's from far which which you probably see on uh, most TIE fighter sets, of course. And of course you can like flip right open and, and of course it's one brick that is here kinda comes off quite easily. And as for this canopy piece of it, see it's like that to go over a brick for that. But in like later versions, they kind of gave an all new bolt to that, which was well improved for that. And as for this whole canopy or cockpit area, which does have a single lever bit and a rounded plate rick to be the seat to that, and enough space to fit Anakin, seat Anakin in there. And also a couple of clips behind, I wish to store Anakin's lightsaber or onto. Although it would be nice if those were underneath, like in other versions, but at least they did look over that in the other versions for that, and closes over him quite well. And then on the back side, just a couple of Technic bits acting as the hinge part to it, and cylinders with studs to be the engines. And and as for these little flat parts, which like the other versions can fold right outwards in its, in its flight mode. Uh, quite cool. And also, and as you can see, do have a large sticker sheet to on the insides of which, well, since of course, since obviously that's how it goes like, but yeah. And of course, a good bit of symmetricality on both of them, of course. You can fold into land, of course. But not only moving landing gear like the 2005 version had. But whatever. So now for my overall verdict on this set. And overall, this is which a really good, quite good set for how it is. Like you get both a ship and a little uh, playset dual kind of build to it. Even though that did come as a separate build in 2020, of course. But and also for and also nice to see one in dark green. And also from this film, of course. And also good to have a little scene from this uh, film, of course. There's, even though. And also good to see Sith Anakin in a, in a set with a ship, of course. And also, even though, the, which was kind of exclusive, but the main exclusive one was the Episode 3 version of New Gunray here. So, of course, still good props to that, but even though if this set were made now, it'd probably be just the Jedi Interceptor, like the later ones kind of were. So even though the... And of course, the Duan Mustafar was a separate set in 2020, of course. Well, but of course, all you could add that and modify that into other odd builds on Mustafar, of course. And all, and oh, uh, and also, and also, as for the uh, 30 to 40 dollars that was back in 2000, back in 2012, still quite good for how it is, regardless of inflation and all. And also, it would have been nice to also include a little hilt part to have alongside it to represent Obi-Wan saying, I got the high grounds, even though that could be a whole separate set, but yeah. And now, if any of you still have this set from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of it. And for those of you who haven't and are still looking to get this set, I'd say definitely pick it up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.